speakers today. We have come to the formal end of our program, but I do have some announcements and some housekeeping. Uh, the benefit of you being here is you do not have to move for convocation. Uh, in a moment, you're going to see school, students from other schools and colleges processing in. So if you're on the floor, you do not have to move. Students are over in this section over here. I will ask you to move one section over to section 103. That's the Fox Overflow session. So when we're done, if you could move over to that section, we would greatly appreciate it. After convocation, which starts here at 11, there is lunch. If you are a commuter student, if you're someone that does not live in the dormitory here, does not have a meal plan, and you would like a ticket for lunch, some of our fabulous advisors will have green tickets. When we finish, please come over and get a ticket and then return to your seat. That will give you access to the dining halls for your free and complimentary lunch. Uh, reminder this afternoon that we will have the Convocation Sampler Program. While we're all excited to see you today, we do not want to see you this afternoon. That is for you to go and explore other university college programs, see what else is out there. You're going to spend enough time with us, so don't worry about that. And then finally, if you can, we would certainly love it if you could throw your shirt on because you're going to see that every other student coming in has their school and college, so we would love to see Fox represent. Okay? So those are the announcements. Thank you for your time this morning. Again, welcome to Fox. If you need a ticket, please come over and get it and return to your seat. Otherwise, stay here for convocation, which is going to start shortly. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please stay in the arena for our following presentation at 11 a.m. Again, please stay in the arena for our following presentation of Convocation and Pep Rally at 11 a.m. Thank you.
Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated and please welcome Kamika Williams Witherspoon, a faculty member in the Department of Theater in the School of Theater, Film and Media Arts and President of Faculty Senate. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> you are the class of 2026. Welcome to the new student convocation. If you are happy to be here at Temple University, make some noise! My name is Dr. Kamika Williams Witherspoon, and it is my privilege and honor to introduce you to our distinguished guest. As the 12th president of Temple University, Dr. Jason Wingard engages with students in the classroom, on the athletics field, and in the community. He is our chief proponent of excellence, a highly accomplished scholar. He bridges the worlds of higher education and business. Dr. Wingard seeks to transform students in learning experiences so they will be prepared for the future of work. He also holds a joint appointment as a professor in both the College of Education and Human Development and the Fox School of Business. And he has consulted for high profile companies such as Google, the NFL, and GE. It is my pleasure to introduce you to President Jason Wingard. Good morning! <laughs> Class of 2026, good morning! <laughs> all right, all right. Welcome to the convocation. Welcome to Temple University. I want to know who is in the room. Who represents our new class? If you're from California, make some noise. Texas, make some noise. Florida. Oh. DC, Maryland, Virginia, make some noise. All right. New England, let me hear you. New York City. All right. Now, the last one. Pennsylvania. All right, all right. So I have one favor for you. I'm gonna send a message right now. Yeah, I didn't ask for Jersey, I'm sorry. I'm gonna send a message to your future employer and I need your help, so everybody stand up. Everybody on your feet. I'm gonna let your future boss know why they should hire you four years from now. When I get to the end, I'm gonna give you a signal and I want you to make some noise like you are going to be the employers of the future. You got it? Everybody got it? All right, here we go. Employers in the global marketplace, it is my duty as president of Temple University to introduce to you the class of 2026. This is the most diverse class in the 138 year history of Temple University. This is the best prepared class to ever come to Temple University. This class, four years from now, will be armed with the skills and the duties and the ability to disrupt and to amplify the future of work. Class of 2026, make some noise! Come on, come on. Thank you. So this is the point in the program 
where the president of the university gives you words of wisdom and gives you motivational speeches to help you understand why you're here. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to let you tell me. This is a celebrated class. I am so proud before you even start. This class is the most diverse ever. This class has been prepared better than any class has been before. You all are going to learn from our distinguished faculty. You're going to learn from one another. You are going to be better prepared than we've ever prepared a class before to be able to get jobs and to accelerate in the workplace. So I'm going to ask you, why Temple? Don't look down. That's not what you do when you're at Temple. Look up. Tell me your name, tell me where you're from, and tell me why Temple. All right, uh, my, name's, uh, my name is Rocco DiCiano from Radnor, PA. Um, I chose Temple uh, because I just love the area. I've always been around Philly. I'm a big Philly fan, love the Eagles. When I came here to get a tour, like the teachers were always welcoming. I loved it. They always showed me what was going to help me. There's always extra help, the centers, the library, all of that. I've always liked that. I'm always for the person that likes help. There's nothing wrong with help nowadays. It's always going to help, especially in college. But yeah. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Give me another one. I'm from Delaware County, Pennsylvania, and I chose, I chose Temple because I like the city and I had some family who went here. Okay, very good. Thank you. Give her a hand. All right. One more. One more. Right there. We got you. Hi, my name is Teresa Nguyen. I am from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. I chose Temple because my cousin told me to pick it. He loves it here. And this is the only school I applied to, so there you go. Thank you. All right. So you all chose Temple because you love the city of Philadelphia, you love the urban setting, you love the campus, you love the faculty, you have alumni who have graduated within your family from your schools. You all have come here because you want a best-in-class education, you want to have fun, you want to learn from one another, you want to take full advantage of what this experience has to offer. So my only piece of advice to you is to do just that. Take full advantage. Don't be afraid, don't hold back, don't be lazy. Dig in, lean in, get the most you can out of this experience. We have so much to offer you. You have so much to offer each other. We're going to have a blast. You guys are going to honor what I said to your future bosses. You're going to be better prepared for the future of work than any other class of 2026 in the country, in the world. All right? Let's make a deal. Do it. Do it. So, before I hand the mic over to our provost, I have one more favor that I need to ask from you. You all know what the gritty is. You know what the gritty is, the gritty dance. Nervous laughter. I need three volunteers of people who can do the gritty really well. Three volunteers. Who we got? One here? Which one are you? Why don't you come up? Come on. Who we got? Come on. Come on. Come on down. We got three. Come on, I got one of you. You want to do it? Come on. Come on. Where's our third? We have somebody over here, right? Oh, he's up there, okay. Come on up. Lower stage, right here. It's all good, it's all good, here we go. 
So I'm going to introduce your classmates. I'm going to let them introduce yourself. Tell us your name and where you're from. Hi, I'm Hayden Leverone. I'm from Marblehead, Massachusetts. Hi, my name is Ron, and I'm from Houston, Texas. Hi, my name is Samuel Gadesha, and I'm from Newcastle, Delaware. All right, so here's what we're going to do. You all are going to help me as ambassadors. You're going to be Graham ambassadors, Instagram ambassadors, all right? Listen to the rules. We are going to showcase for the world how Temple University does the gritty. We're going to showcase our campus. We're going to showcase our students. So let me explain. We're going to do a new campaign for one week. And I want you all to remember this. You have to follow me on Instagram. You have to record a video of somebody in the Temple community doing the gritty in your dorm, in the cafeteria, anywhere on campus, main campus, health campus uh, up, uptown, or Ambler, Tokyo, Rome, wherever we have a Temple campus, wherever there's faculty, students, staff, administrators, get somebody to do the, the gritty, post it on Instagram, tag me, hashtag Temple Gritty, all right? And we're gonna have a contest. And whichever video is best after one week, that person gets a first class suite here in Leopold Center to see Jack Harlow. You, your friends, food, Jack Harlow concert here at Leopold Center in October. All right? So, in order to get that done, we need a couple of judges. And I'm going to need your help to help us figure out which one of these should be our grand judge for this contest, all right? So the DJ is going to cue up the song. Which one of you wants to go first? Which one of you wants to go second? You want to go third? Can you guys step back? You're up. Just get ready. Thank you all for doing it. So, come line up, all three of you. These are good sports. These are class leaders right here. That, that's not easy to do. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put my hand over their heads, and I want you to cheer for which one you thought did the best job, all right? Line up, ready? All right, good. All right. <laughs> well, it looks like you got the winner. All right. So what we're going to do, I actually need a panel of judges. So all three of these students are going to be judges for this competition. You will be the grand judge. We will decide after one week. Make sure you follow me, hashtag Temple Gritty, at Jason Wingard post somewhere, tag the location of where you are, get somebody doing the gritty, be as creative as you can. We're going to show the world that we're having fun, we're going to show the world what our campus looks like, and we're going to show the world our people in the Temple community. All right? Thank you all. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we had some fun now. It's my privilege and my honor to introduce to you our new provost, Gregory Mandel. He, provost Mandel is going to give us some words of encouragement and some information about the future and the coming year. Provost Mandel. Welcome, New Owls. 
This is actually my first convocation, too, so just like you, I'm really excited to see what the day has in store for us. Convocation is a ceremony that welcomes you to the start of your new student journey at Temple. It's a special time for you. It's a very special time for all of our faculty and staff. We've been preparing for your entry onto the Temple campus for months now, and we are thrilled to see all of you, all of your beautiful faces here. As provost, my top priority is to oversee your academic journey and to ensure that you are very well prepared for your future careers. This means providing an experience that is educationally, culturally, and socially fulfilling for each of you, and incorporating the robust experiences, the robust resources to support your health and well-being throughout your time with us at Temple. We know that you're excited to start your academic life here. You're here to learn, and as provost, and as a parent, I do say, we expect you to go to classes, we expect you to study hard, but we don't expect you to spend all of your days and nights either in class learning or in the library studying. It is also important to learn about the opportunities on and off campus and for you to get to know our community, our city, our region, and all that we have to offer both nationally and internationally. Let me tell you a little bit about the opportunities that you'll get to begin to explore today. After lunch, you can get a glimpse of courses and activities outside of your chosen major. This adventure is called the Sampler Sessions, where you'll take part in short interactive sessions, learning about a discipline that you might want to pursue further or an organization that you might want to join. Next, head down Leah Chorus Walk and meet leaders of student organizations and campus partners ready to help you personalize your own temple experience. So that's just a little bit about what to expect for today. Let me also tell you about you, our fabulous Temple Law School entering class of fall 2022. You come from every inhabited continent. Among you are students who have traveled halfway around the world from Singapore and from India. Others of you grew up in our own backyard, right down the street from us. The youngest first year student with us today is 16. And the most seasoned among you is 61. As you already heard, you join us from across the country, 44 different states, Puerto Rico, Washington, DC. And also, as you heard, you are Temple's most diverse entering class ever. 51% of you identify as students of color. Our first year students represent 1,424 different high schools, and transfer students come from 282 different colleges and universities. You want to guess the biggest feeder high school? Yes, Central High School right here in Philadelphia. There are 160 plus different majors at Temple. The most popular major for all of you that all of you have uh, said you might be interested in is biology. Nine of you are celebrating your birthday today. Look at the party we threw. Happy birthday. 18 of you share a birthday with our founder, Russell Conwell. That's February 15th. And 11 of you share a birthday with our president, Jason Wingard, December 13th. Knowing all that about you, I want to challenge you to push yourself outside of your comfort zone and take advantage of all that our university and our city have to offer you. Let me give you just a few samples and ideas. Our curriculum is extraordinarily diverse. We offer over 600 different programs. I encourage you to take a class that you may have not thought you would never take. Push beyond your fear of the unknown. 
Meet new friends, especially those who don't seem like you. Our city and our campus are extraordinarily rich in cultural experiences. Visit the Bloxen Collection, one of the most prestigious collections of African-American artifacts in the nation. It's housed in Sullivan Hall right next to my offices. Take a walk to 17th and Montgomery, just down the block. Visit the Wagner Free Institute of Science there, one of the oldest collections of minerals and natural science artifacts in the country. Explore all the city has to offer, from the Schuylkill River to the hills of Maniunk. I encourage you to walk and ride and train and bike our fabulous city. You can visit the zoo. It's America's first zoo. Attend one of our many fall sports competitions. The link, home of the Philadelphia Eagles, is also our own Temple Owls football home. You can go see a play on campus at Tomlinson Theater or Annenberg Hall. And then, once you've gotten a sample of what Philadelphia has to offer, I encourage you to explore outside of the city. Visit our beautiful Ambler campus with lush gardens, remarkable landscaping, or maybe head to our Harrisburg campus if you're interested in politics. I strongly encourage you to consider a fabulous summer away uh, in Temple Rome or in Temple University, Japan. Beautiful campuses, beautiful international campuses that are calling you, beckoning you to travel there. Philadelphia, as some of you know, is also a foodie town. And Temple is a thriving example of food diversity in this city. Right? Both in our dining hall and on campus and all the food trucks that you've started to see around. Try them out, explore, eat something you've never had before. Most importantly, most importantly, Take care of yourself while you're here. Take care of the resources that we have to offer, including counseling services, health and wellness coaching, our fitness and recreation facilities. And first year students, don't forget to sign up for Fly and Four to graduate on time or early. So I encourage you to take full advantage of this time to learn, to live, to explore, Reach back to your high school, your previous institution, the friends you already have. Invite them to come and visit you at campus. But also, meet all of the new wonderful people here, all the new friends, all the new opportunities. Share what you love about this new academic home. Work hard, play, laugh, stretch yourself personally and academically. Find your passion. Because you're here, we know that you can achieve anything that you put your mind to. And I am thrilled. I look forward to getting to watch all of you go and pave your own unique paths forward. Thank you. And now I hope you'll please welcome back my colleague and friend, Dr. Kamiko Williams-Witherspoon. So our provost is very humble. I didn't get a chance to read his bio, but I just want to tell you a little bit about him. I mean, a leading international scholar um, in intellectual property law, uh, law innovation, and the interface between technology and law. Uh, before being named provost, he was dean of the law school. And fun fact, before going to law school, uh, he worked on the NASA Hubble Space Telescope and I want you to give it up for our provost, Gregory N. Mandel. So I've got an alphabet poem, things that you will uh, encounter in the next four years. A is for arts and athletics. B, bookstores, bodegas, babble. C, campus IDs, campus life. Chatting the stacks at the Charles Library, and of course, community engagement. D, dorms, all manner of them. E is for engineering or shrimp and mushroom spicy at Orient Express. F, for faculty, fraternities, and for friendships that you'll make that will last a lifetime. G, for gen eds, gaming, student government, and Gladfelter's 10th floor. H, Hardwick, homecoming, health and wellness. I. 
ideal insomnia cookies and inauguration festivities for our Temple University's 12th president, which just happens to be J for Dr. Jason Wingard, as well as Johnson and Hardwick and Jazz at TPAC on Thursdays. K for the Cat School of Medicine and the Klein School of, of Media and Communication. L, Leah Chorus Walk, the benefits of a liberal arts education and the let out. And if you don't know what that is, go find out. M is for Morgan Hall's View, Missouri's Food Court, and Maxie's any time of the day. N is for the all the, the all-nighters yet to come. And oh my gosh, oh for the opulence of opera in Tomlinson's Theater. P is for Paley and public health. Q is for my colleague, Dr. Kaiser Abdullah, faculty director of the Muslim Student Association, and of course, all the QR codes everywhere. R for Res Life, ROTC, running in the Broad Street Run. S, sorority, study abroad, spring break, and maybe even bringing back spring fling. T is for Tomlinson Theater, Thirsty Thursdays, and Tyler School of Art. U, the underground, V, adhering to vaccine mandates and veterans appreciation and not just for one day. W, Whitehall, welcome week and any win against Villanova. <laughs> X for Excel. Okay, it starts with a D, so I cheated, but learning Excel and using it all the damn time. Why? Because you students will change the world. And Z, because we're not just Zooming or hybrid, but we're fully face-to-face -face and back here at Temple University. Yes. This is just a partial list of some of the noteworthy things that helps make Temple University what it is today. God willing, you'll see me again at the end of the year, and we can compare notes, and there may be a pop quiz. College is a place for you to learn, to grow, to explore, to spread your wings. Some of you already have a plan. You know exactly what you want to do. Others of you are testing the waters, putting a toe in the various subjects and disciplines that we have to offer uh, to, to find out just the right pool of interest in which you can wholeheartedly dive right in. Some of you will learn what you absolutely don't want to ever have to do again. And others will stumble upon the thing that you can do to change the world. Take advantage of the Temple faculty that you meet along the way. Scholars and stars in their fields get to know your faculty. On the first day of class, introduce yourself. Shake your hands, give them eye contact. And in the classroom, give them your very best. In any situation or relationship, you get out what you put in. Take advantage of office hours. As instructors, we are here for your success. And hopefully, in four years' time, you will have forged relationships, secured mentors, and acquired faculty who are willing to write glowing recommendations for you as you move on to other things in the job force, professional schools, or graduate training as graduates of Temple University's class of 2026. I am so pleased to meet and to greet you, and I am so proud of all that you will accomplish while you are here. And with that, I would like to now introduce Gianni Quattrochi, is a junior political science major with a minor in public policy. After graduating from Bristol High School, he enrolled in Temple University, his first choice. And from 2021 to 2022, he served as the Temple Student Government Director of Government Affairs, where he promoted Temple University to state legislators and organized students to lobby in Harrisburg for state funding. In March 2022, he was elected student body president in the annual Temple Student Government election. I give you Gianni Quattrochi. Welcome to the nest and give yourselves a round of applause.
Come on, we're Temple Made Temple Proud. Louder, a, la a round of applause. Come on, guys. Yes, that is what I'm talking about. As I take to the stage today, I cannot emphasize enough that when you become a student at Temple University, you aren't just taking classes and pursuing a degree. You are joining a vast and beautiful community in the heart of our beloved city of Philadelphia. And when you join that community, you are opening yourself to new opportunities, new experiences, new people, and skills and friends you will have for life. I'm Gianni Quattrochi, and I have the honor of serving as Temple University's student body president. And our student government, TSG, is here to advocate for you. But above all, everyone here at Temple, the student government, the faculty, the administration, the staff, and everyone in between is here for one purpose. We will help you grow and succeed. And right now, we as students are entering into an ever-evolving and fast-paced world. And Temple will help you prepare not just for today, but for tomorrow. And in order to do that, we must remain true to our motto. Perseverance conquers. And at Temple, we students have a particular reputation. Temple students work harder. We persevere. We challenge ourselves. We pursue every opportunity. We look facts square in the eyes and decide what change we want to see in the world. Then we go out and be the change. And at Temple, the experiences you have here will be the catalyst for the innovations you contribute to the world. As you look to the years ahead, I encourage you all to take every opportunity you can, to use the resources at Temple to help grow and build your skill set for tomorrow, and to get involved. Take risks, join clubs, meet new people and talk to your classmates, reach out to your professors, and always look for ways to give back to the community. Not only will this prepare you for the future, but it is one of the most rewarding experiences you can have for yourself. Temple is here to help you reach your full potential and give you the tools you need to forge a path for yourself in a rapidly changing world. With that, welcome to the nest. We couldn't be happier to have you. And one more time, another round of applause, everyone. You've earned it, all of you. Uh, now, please stand as you are able and join me in the convocation chair to recite the student pledge. As a temple owl, I pledge to uphold the highest principles of honesty. The highest principles of honesty. I pledge to uphold the highest principles of honesty and integrity. In and, outside the, in and outside of the classroom as founder Russell Conwell intended. In and outside the classroom as founder Russell Conwell intended. I embrace Temple's commitment to excellence, diversity, and respect for the community. I embrace Temple's commitment to excellence, diversity, and respect for the community. These values define my path. I take pride in saying I am a Temple owl. These values define my path. I take pride in saying I am a temple owl. Welcome to the nest, everyone. And please remain standing as the choir sings our alma mater.
just the beginning of your welcome to the nest. You've met your student government president Gianni, the faculty senate president me, Dr. Kamika Williams Witherspoon, Provost Mandel, and President Jason Wingard. Make sure to connect with each of us on social media, follow us. More importantly, when you see us on campus, say hello. We are here to help you succeed. And now, stay tuned for some tempo Spirits! Temple University, how are we feeling today? To the main event. No, 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 no. I said to you, how are we feeling? Everybody, Let's get ready I want you to scream. You say you, T, T, when I say T, you say you, T, T. We got to get rowdy. We got to get loud. This time, scream on three. One, two, three. This time, scream on three. One, two, three. That's what I'm talking about. Welcome to your first official party here at Temple University. Here's my best friend. Make some noise for Hooter. Do me a favor, draw your attention to the video board for a very special video. Thank you. 